When it comes to starting a project in pre-built ML, the best place to start is with a little bit of file organization. The two key components are the plans for the job and the pre-built project file. Both of these items should be placed together in a folder for that project. Rename the pre-built project file and then open the software. Whether the plans came from an email, were downloaded from a plans room, or were loaded from a thumb drive, the method is still the same. Simply place them in the same folder as the pre-built project file and then begin your project. A pre-built project folder can be stored anywhere, either on a local computer, a server, or any other location your computer can access. There are no special requirements for setting up specified storage locations. Once the software is open, start by entering information about the job. For example, the project's name, the address, the tracking number, or even the client for whom you are doing the job. In addition to being helpful to you as you reference the job later, this information will also be used to populate fields on the material reports that you print, as well as in the sidebar of the framing layouts that you create. The architectural and structural dates are also key data points to be collected. As the project progresses through different phases of bidding and shipping, you can reference back to these dates and know if your material list has been created from the most recent set of plans. With your project information entered, now it is time to import your page images. Browse to the folder location where you place the image files for the job and import them. Many different file formats are supported. PNG files, JPEGs, and TIFFs can all be used. In this example, PDFs are being automatically converted and imported into the project. The fundamental idea behind Prebuilt is to bring the images of a plan into the software and then simply draw right over the top of these images in order to collect the required data. When all the pages have been imported, taking a little bit of time to manage or organize the pages can help you be more efficient throughout the rest of the project. There are different tools to help with this, one of which is the bulk rename feature. You can select a page, view it, and name the page accordingly. Then you can easily tab to the next page and progress through the whole list very quickly in this fashion. Alphabetical sort orders are also available. Making the small time investment like this at the beginning of the plan allows you to move more efficiently through the project since you'll be able to navigate quickly to different portions of the plan and cross-reference them easily. Another feature that is related to this are the bookmarks and snapshots. These allow you to identify key portions of the plan and return to them even faster. When the page list organization is complete, you are almost ready to begin your takeoff, but one more step remains. But it's an important one. Scaling. Go to the page on which you are going to perform the takeoff. Click the Level and Scale button and use the mouse to define two points along the horizontal axis of the plan. Indicate in the box how far it should be between these two points based on the dimensions on the page. Repeat this for the vertical axis. By completing this process, you are defining what the exact scale should be for that page so that all future takeoff work that is done on this page will be accurate. Once this process is complete, you can enter drawing mode. Notice across the top of the screen that multiple tools have become available. These range from a count tool that will allow you to specify a quantity of items to a roof container, which takes into consideration things like on-center spacing and pitch. There are markup tools that are available as well. Overlays, images, highlighters, and notes can all be added as needed. Here we have drawn a simple floor container with a specific on-center spacing. With a simple right-click, you can adjust where the on-center spacing begins. You can also assign a product to the floor joists that have been generated. In this case, we'll pick TJI 110 and the product becomes assigned. Going back to the floor container, we can right-click on it and choose to add an edge around the perimeter of the container that we have already drawn. 
we can set that edge to be rim and then pick a product for it. In this case, we'll pick some TJ rim board. With the rim and joist entered, now beams can be added to the project. Click on the segment tool and zoom in for better control and draw the first beam. By right clicking on the segment line, we are able to make multiple changes to it. The condition could be changed to flush, which would cause the joist to be cut and hangers to be added automatically. But in this case, it's just going to be a dropped beam. We'll set its application as beam and pick a product. The plan calls for 4x8 dug for a number 2. With all of these parameters set exactly the way we want, we'll choose to draw more of these type of beams across the plan as we have need. The same type of feature is available for all the different types of tools within Prebuilt, where we can set to parameters within a project and then draw identical items easily throughout the project. Notice over in the takeoff items list that the products and their quantities and amounts are being populated as we draw. The same is automatically happening in the list that will populate the materials report. As we look closely at this floor, there is a section that should be cut out for crawl space opening. Using the subtraction from section tool, we can cut out that part of the container. Note that the joists are automatically cut back for that opening as well. We can right click on a joist and choose to draw another one just like it to account for the edge of the opening. Additional joists can be also drawn around the opening. By assigning the condition to flush, the joists intersecting it in the floor container automatically receive a hanger. We can repeat that process for the joists at the other side of the opening and then choose to add hangers to the ends. Other tools are available in pre-built that can make the work more efficient. An example of this it can be observed with hangers. Notice here that while we have added multiple hangers, as you look on the takeoff items list, none of them have a product assigned. We can go to one of these hangers and pick a product that is appropriate for this case. Now we can highlight all the rest of those hangers and move them all into that one hanger group and as a result they receive that hanger product type. We have addressed hangers, joists, beams, and rim in this project very quickly. As we are finishing up we can add some blocking. We choose the segment tool and draw the first segment. We right click on it to set some of its properties such as the application to floor joist blocking and the product will set as the TJI material again. Right clicking on the item again, we can choose draw more segments like this and then add more blocking where appropriate throughout the project. With all these items entered and completed, we are about ready to create our layout. But some quick final adjustments can also be made along the way as they are noticed. If you see a joist at the edge of floor that you don't want, you can delete it or some blocking that is not long enough, just click and drag the end where it needs to be. The material list is dynamically updated as we make these adjustments. When everything has been addressed, we adjust the zoom and position of the page for the framing layout. We can also choose to lighten up the page background or turn it off completely if desired. Go to the framing layout tab, choose the layout type you like and click capture. We give it a title such as Main Floor Framing. The framing layout is complete and material is automatically populated in the upper right hand corner with tags and other indicators that make it easy to identify where the material is and where it should be used. So there you have it. Prebuilt ML provides a straightforward method to accomplish what you need accurate material lists, and professional-looking layouts delivered in a timely fashion.